All right, so welcome back. So let's fix a few of our errors here. So first and foremost, what I want to do first is open up my dot script to fix that null reference exception error that came up. And the reason that was coming up is uh, when I was pulling into the blank space, uh, it was checking to see if it was a valid angle, and it was. And it was checking to see that I was pulling in a valid place, and I was. Um, and so it moved to this move piece is actual and it did you know other dot equals da 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 and then I never did a null catch to make sure that other dot was there so what I'm going to do here is after I do previous column equals column and before I start assigning stuff to the other dot I'm going to say if other dot is not null then I'm going to do all of this stuff and if other dot is null so else I want to reset to the move state. So I'm going to do board dot uh, state. Ah, current state uh, is equal to game state dot move. So I'm going to save that. And if I pop back into Unity here, I'll let that compile for a second. And then I'll hit play. And I should be able to. <laughs> I turned it on and off again. Good lord, one of these days I'll learn. I should be able to pull into the empty space without causing an error. So, game doesn't lock up, that's good. I can still play, but everything still collapses. So, let's fix this. So, first off, let's fix the collapse routine. Now, in the board script here, I want to take a look at my current collapse routine, which is my decrease row co. So the way that I'm working this right now is I was using a null count um, and then increasing the row of dots based on how many nulls were in that row. This isn't going to work now because um, there's it, those blank spaces are always going to register as a null, and I want them to always register as a null, so I can't just use a null count. So I'm going to create a new coroutine to do this um, a different way. So I'm going to make a private I enumerator, and I'm going to call this decrease row co, and I'll just call it decrease row co2 because it's my second version of this. And what I want to do here instead, um, let me kind of give you a, an idea of what the logic is so that we're all on the same page. So first, I'm going to do my double for loop. So for integer i is 0, i is less than width, i plus plus, and then for integer j is 0, j is less than height, j plus plus, and yeah. So what I want to do is say uh, if the current spot isn't blank. Um, oh, I forgot my semicolon there. Alright, so if the current spot isn't blank, and uh, isn't blank or empty. So if, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm reading my notes here. If the current spot isn't blank um, and is empty. So we're gonna say if, um, we wanna check the current spot, so I'm gonna use my blank spaces i, j but I want it to be not blank, so I'm going to use the exclamation point here, so it's not a blank space, and all dots ij is null. Um, then what I want to do is loop from the space above to the top of the column. So to loop, I'm going to have another loop, another for loop here in this case. So I'm going to say for k, no, 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 integer k is equal to zero. 
actually I don't want it to start at 0. I want it to instead start right above our previous piece. So k is equal to j plus 1. Uh, k is less than the height. k plus plus. So I'm going to loop from the space above, which is j plus 1, to the top of the column, which is height. And I want to say if a dot is found, so if all dots ij is not equal to null, then I want to move that dot to this empty space. So I'm going to say all dots ik this time. And oops, sorry, not ij up here, ik. All dots ik dot get component. I want to get the dot component. Dot row is equal to j. And I want to set that spot to be null. Set that spot to be null. So all dots ik. And then I want to break out of the loop. OK. Um, now, it's still giving me red here. And the reason it's red is because I've just done that, but I don't have an actual yield statement anywhere. So I'm going to do yield return new wait for seconds. And I'm going to put in a delay of 0.4 seconds. And then I want to start the coroutine fill board co. So now I just need to call this coroutine instead of the other decrease row coroutine. So to do that, I'm going to go to where I would call that coroutine and just add a 2 to have it call this one now. Now, we're still not quite there. We're decreasing the row just fine. There's one more thing we need to do. We need to go to the refill board method here. And if all dots ij is null and um, blank spaces ij. So if all dots ij is null and it's not a blank space. So I'm instead of in refill board, I'm doing my double for loop. And then if I come across a null space that is not also a blank space, then I'm going to create those new dots. So I'm going to save here. I'm going to pop back into Unity. It's going to think for a second. And I'll hit play. This time I swear I'm being patient. And all right, so the pieces come in. So let me flip-flop a bit. And there we go. Now, once everything settles down, let me try and... So I can pull into the blank space, but nothing happens. But it doesn't freeze the game either. Uh, let me make a special piece here. And then... Come here. Cool. So... There we go. We've got these empty spaces. Now, this isn't the kind of thing that you would want the game to just do randomly. So what I did is I knew what size I wanted my board to be. So I took out a piece of graph paper and just made these X's where I wanted them to be. And then that way, when I was making my boards, I could transfer that information into my board layout. So like if I knew that I wanted, um, then I honestly, to be completely honest, I use Candy Crush as an inspiration. If I knew I wanted these two rows completely blank, well, then I would do 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way over, and then um, 0, 5, all the way over. I'd make all those blank. I'd make these empty spaces, the corners blank, or whatever I wanted to. You can just kind of go wild with it, but you probably don't want the computer doing it randomly. So there we go, blank spaces on our boards. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you learned anything today, please feel free to uh, give me a like. And you can give me a like if you didn't learn anything. Nobody's going to gonna ask you about it, so it's all right to do that. Uh, if you have uh, any questions, like I said, let me know. Um, 
yeah, uh, have a wonderful day.